And there's just this thing about, you know, which I grew up with a lot of people who just thought that they didn't need to do anything and they deserved as much as everyone else did. I mean, it's like now everyone thinks that, you know, they want to have a job in advertising or something like some cool thing as soon as they're sort of 20. And, uh, you know, when everyone else thought, you know, you had to get, you had to go on the conveyor belt and go through, work till you're 45, until you have a reasonably cool job. Um, but there's something about George where he just realizes that there are loopholes in the system and realizes you don't really need any conceivable talent, you don't need anything. You just need to want and, uh, and, and, and that's it. It starts off the story with him thinking that this world is so glorious and glamorous and he sees these women as goddesses when he first when he first goes into it um, and I think the women as they're all perceived as nothing really by their husbands and the people around them they want to acknowledge his adoration um, and they really like they can see immediately that he thinks they're more special than anyone else thinks they are and it works really well for him, and uh, he manages to persuade them into doing things that they wouldn't necessarily do otherwise. What does interest you? Mm -hmm. I like enjoying myself. He's, he is tricked into doing, you know, he, he goes into a world which he initially thinks is, is um, is what he wants, and and it looks like it's filled with energy, and and he's he's felt that he was dealt a bad hand in life, and and then it's he feels that finally the doors open, and things will start happening, and then you do he does start to realize the hypocrisy in things, but and um, and the fact that most of the people who are succeeding in life are, are worthless, like kind of scumbags. <laughs> The government are trying to take Morocco. Yes, for the good of the Moroccan people, of course. And, uh, but the reason he succeeds as well, which he never acknowledged about himself, is that he's a scumbag too. <laughs> um, which is quite, I mean, I think that's a very human trait, the fact that he, he, you know, he never really realized that he's just as bad as everybody else. Why do you come back to me? I don't know. I've been such a fool.